Doing operations with fractions can be really hard work. Often the methods used focus more on the answer than the understanding of what's actually happening. Students are taught tricks and rules and told to memorize them to work out the answers. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you and your students how you can use Keynote to create your very own fractions animations. These visualize what's actually happening when you add, subtract, multiply or divide fractions. And that can be lots of fun and get the kids thinking deeply about what they're doing with their mathematics. Creating fraction animations when we're adding fractions. This is probably the simplest one. What we need to do first of all is to actually make our fractions. So to do that, I just use a text box and I write down my fractions, say one over two or a half. Then I use the shape tool to add a line, which will be our vinculum. Now, vinculum is the fancy maths word for the line between the top, the numerator, and the denominator. So we just get that all lined up, and then I'll select all the objects, and I right-click and group them together so they stay together. I'll add another text box for my addition sign. So here we're going to add a quarter plus a half. To make our fractions, I use the shape tool. And a couple of ways we can do this. We can just start with, say, a square shape. And I'm going to use four of these, but I'll first set it up by formatting it. And I want to format it so it's got a border of a line. And I'm actually going to make this one no fill. So I've got my first shape. I can adjust the size if I want to. Then I'm going to copy and paste that three times. And Keynote's pretty good at lining our shapes up. So we just line all our shapes up. So we've now got an object split into four. Now, to make that one quarter, I'm going to paste another shape and put it over the top right. This one, though, rather than leaving it unfilled, I'm going to fill it with the color green. So now, if I give that one also a border of a line, I've now got my fraction one quarter. I do exactly the same to make my fraction one half. But this time I'm going to grab my shape and stretch it out so it's exactly the same height as the other one. And I'm going to copy that one and paste it. So now you can actually see that it looks more like halves. Fill that one with green. then four quarters. So there we go, we've got a quarter plus one half. Now, the first thing we need to do when we're changing or adding fractions is we can't add fractions with different denominators, obviously. So we need to make a new fraction. This one, one half is the same as two quarters. And I'm going to put this one over the top because this is when we start now using our animations. So, what I want to do is I want to make that object, I'm going to animate it, and I'm going to use a build in, and I'm going to add an effect, and I'm going to just make that appear. So that when it, I run my animation, it appears. The next thing I need to do, as the bell rings, is to make this one disappear at exactly the same time. So this is actually going to be a build out, and I make it disappear. Now, to make them go at exactly the same time, I'm going to select Build Order, and you can see here that these objects will happen one after the other on click. But I want these to, to happen together. I can drag and drop to reorder, or you can actually just select down here, and you'll see what happens. Let's test this one out, so we can see what's going to happen. So when I play my slideshow, I select and one appears, the other one disappears. So I've got to move the two quarters back over to the top of one half. Okay, I've done that. So now I've made that appear. But the next thing I want to do, I'll get rid of my build order, is turn my visual representation into two out of four. So here I'm just going to use a line again. And I'm going to put my line straight. And I'm going to put my line here in the middle and as I said everything sort of lines up really well now I want to change the thickness of that line so I'm going to go to format and change my line thickness to approximate what we've got there that looks pretty good okay 
Now I'm also then going to make that add an animation to that line. So I'm going to want that to build in to appear. And I'll go back to the build order because I want this to appear, all that to happen in one go. All right, let's preview that and see what happens. I click. Yeah, it's not bad. This one is actually after build two. I'm going to make it with build two. Just check here. Make it with build two. So now they should all happen together. Let's preview that and see what happens. Bang. Disappearing doesn't seem to... Maybe I think I need to preview it when I press play. Let's try that. Bang. It's turned one half into two quarters. Next thing I want to do is actually visualize or show the adding. So, remember we made the extra green box over here? I'm going to add an animation to that. So this animation is actually going to be an action now, and I'm going to add the effect of moving. And it, it gives you a, a suggested move, but you can actually now drag this to where you want it to go. So now, when that animation runs, the green square will go from here all the way over there to give me a representation of three quarters. I can then I'll just copy this one and paste my answer over here and change that to three quarters. And I'm going to add an action now to this one of a build in and I'm going to make it appear. So when we look at the build order, we can now see that we've got um, a group of peers which is the fraction, the group disappears, which is the um, other fraction, the one half, the line appears, then our rectangle moves, and then our group appears. Now I want this one to, rather than go on the click, go with build four. So these two things are gonna happen together. All right, let's test this out and see if my fraction animation actually works. So we've got one quarter plus one half. First of all, we need to change one half into two quarters because we need to have like denominators. And then we want to add by sliding our green one across. We can see my answer is three quarters. So that's a really easy way to use Keynote to create a fraction animation. Lots of fun.